Hello, Tuscarora teacher mentors for Capstone. Uh, I wanted to send you all a quick video on the Capstone experience for the seniors that you are mentoring. And that way you understand your responsibilities and what they are seeing as well. At this point, you have been added as a admin to the course in Schoology for Capstone Project. And you'll see it right here. This is the main materials page. A couple of things. We're going to mainly be at the README part, which is what I want to cover because that's really what you all need to uh, focus on to get an understanding of the general parts of this. But uh, this community link right here at the end of the experience, your mentee, your student should be providing this link to their community host so that they will be able to give us feedback. There are video project guidelines right here. And this is just a link to the Capstone website. The students will need to turn in two things through Schoology. The first one being this video submission. Uh, they can opt instead of to do a video, they can do a slide deck, which still goes with the video submission guidelines. But they, if they don't want to record themselves, they can do the slide deck. With this video, keep it simple. And we're talking three to five minutes. We want the highlight reel. We want to know what they enjoyed, what they learned. It's all right there in the rubric that was on the page before. The second thing is a work log. They just have to fill out what hours they worked. And this needs to be signed by their uh, community mentor. So these two things are both due midnight, May 28th. Uh, and then the third thing that they're going to have to do is on the 31st, 31st in advisory, they're going to come back and they're going to present what they did to the junior class advisories. That's why we help promote the capstone program to seniors for next year. So that's the three things they have to do. If any one of these three things are not completed, then they do not complete the capstone uh, experience and any work that they have missed over the last two weeks, excuse me, they are responsible for. So let's get back to the main page here. Just read me. Uh, real quick, uh, again, you should be ready to, be, or they should be ready to begin their experience. If they do not complete all the assignments, this is what I just mentioned to you all, to a satisfactory level, you will not complete the capstone experience. This means that your teachers will be notified and you're responsible for all, all mixed work. The work that is turned in into that turn in folder, you all are admins on this uh, on the Schoology course for a reason. That is because you all are going to go through and look to see if what they have turned in meets your satisfaction. What we're not looking for is to zing the students here or hold them to some super high standard, but we want to make sure that they got something out of their experience and that they put the work in and they did it on time. It's much easier for you to look at two things for one person than it is for the committee to look at two things for every uh, every student. So uh, we're splitting that work up to, to the mentors. So let's see, next thing, the video link and the log are due midnight 28th. That's what I just mentioned earlier. Uh, late work will not be accepted. So we're holding them to a standard of a deadline. And as it says in there, being sick or not having internet connection or forgot about the assignments are not reasons for missing their deadline. So they have given this stuff early. They have time to do this. That if they procrastinate and they happen to get sick or they happen to have computer issues, this is all on them. They should have uh, taken care of this earlier. No late assignments will be accepted. Uh, you, uh, you may, they may work on weekends if they need their target is 60 hours or more. If they go to the academies or a math or a math student, then uh, they're looking at 30 hours. Half of it is what it is. DE students are still responsible for all work that is missed. So they do not get to cut the, their DE courses early. Uh, so yeah, remember to check your school email daily. You may receive information from me, your mentor, another teacher and or graduation information. And when sending an email to me, Mr. Craig, always include your teacher mentor in the email. I want you all included in that conversation so you know what's going on. Uh, submissions 
are on the turn-in folder, which I already showed you, and you will need to report to Tuscarora on May 31st for your presentations to the junior class. This is what I mentioned to them before. They are not allowed to be here all day. They show up for the uh, presentation and then they leave. It's that simple. Uh, we are not to have them running around the class or running around school all day. So that is really the basics of what it is. Ultimately, I would also like you all to reach out to them once a week via email is fine. Just check in on them. Want to make sure things are going all right. If you have any questions on the second week, you really want to remind them to uh, get their assignments in. And I'll be sending out an email probably once a week to everybody just to check in with them. But a couple points of contact are not a bad thing. So again, uh, this is your real quick intro to the Capstone Project. It's not much on you at all. Ultimately, oh, that's not where I wanted. Uh, da, 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 there it is. Ultimately, what we're looking at here is these two things: the video submission and the work log. That is what you will be grading for your uh, student. These are not on a percentage scale. This is satisfactory or unsatisfactory. If they do it good enough. Tell them it's satisfactory and they pass that point. So it is not on a grading scale. All right. If there are any questions, please again reach out to me, william.craig at lcps.org, or I'm typically in the tech ed area in the L600 hallway. Thank you very much and thank you for being a part of this.